Oh. How was your weekend, Danby? Oh, I went. I went to my mom's hometown. Okay, nice. Are you still in your mom's hometown? Yes, I'm stay for one month. Wow. So until you will go back to school, right? Yes. Okay, so that's nice, Andy. So Andy, what is the weather today in your mom's hometown? Oh, uh, today is sunny. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. So what did you do today, Andy? Today uh, I study uh, math and uh, math and uh, physics. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, so um. Math and physics, so yeah, it's a combination of all difficult subjects. Do you find physics and math difficult? Yes, it is difficult. Yes, exactly, yeah. Okay, so Andy, please take a look at your book. Can you see it? Yes, I can see it. Okay, do well, you have your well, book with you? Uh, yes, and I don't know where page is it. Okay, so hold on one sec. Let me see. So please open your book in page. Um, hold on. In page, I think 20, 22. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so we are now in 2B, present perfect, and past simple contrast. Okay, so Andy, um, last week we ended up with the previous page. Okay, so which is this one, right? So today we will continue with task two. So it is about the Barbie boy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so for this one, Andy, you're going to complete the text below with the present perfect or past simple form of the verbs in the brackets. So I'll give you one example. Jian Yang is in, is in his 30s and collects dolls. So far, he has spent 20 years and over 250 pounds. 250,000 pounds on his collection, which includes 6,000 Barbie dolls. So now, can you please continue reading the young man? Okay, uh, the young man. <clears throat> uh, 20 years over, uh, the young man from Singapore starts collecting Barbie dolls when he uh, when he was just thirteen. Okay. The first doll, uh, the first doll he bought was the great shape model in a gym. Outfit and leg warmers. Jen buys dolls when he travels for work and uh, purchases. Sixty-five dollars on his last trip to New York. A while, a while ago, a girlfriend walk, walked, walked, uh, walks on, walks out on him because uh, of his hobby. Uh, apparently, she feels threatened uh, by his collection. Jane found that worrying, but now he accepted. Another problem is the space. He uh he are he are he was already almost filled his house. Uh so uh so that he never think uh think about stopping. No, he's run out of space. He said you will buy the uh, the I house next door. Okay, so thank you so much for reading this one, Andy. So you got one, two, three, four, 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 five, six. Okay, so you got it here. 
6 out of 10. Do you have any questions about this? No, I do not have. Okay, great. So what do you think of Ji and Yang? Is he a gay or not? Oh, uh, sorry. Okay, so what do you think about Ji and Yang? Because Ji and Yang likes to collect Barbies. Okay, he was married. Um, um, uh -huh. Yes, three pounds. Yeah, so what do you think of yeah, Ji and Yang? Is it I, weird? Yes. Hello, uh, Andy. Yang is. Hello? Can you hear me well? Yeah, thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Andy, but you are so choppy. Choppy? That sounds. Yes. yes, like your voice is not so clear. Sometimes I can hear you well, but earlier um it's not clear can you please speak again oh to my my uh the mm, we have we have a bad internet internet in my mom's hometown ah yes but it's okay now because your voice is clear okay so i do understand that one andy so we will go back what do you think of g and yang is it weird for a guy who likes to collect Barbie dolls? Uh, I think he is a strange boy. Yes, exactly. Okay, yeah, we cannot judge him. Yeah, but for me, even if, let's say that my boyfriend will collect Barbie dolls, then yeah, I would really um, say that, oh, 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 maybe I'll just broke up with him because I think he's a gay. <laughs> yes. Do you like playing Barbies, Andy? Uh, Barbies. No, I, I never. Oh, you never play. Yes, because Barbie is known to be played by girls. Yes, not boys. Okay, so now thank you for your participation in that activity, Andy. So in here, we will continue with task three. Please read and listen to the dialogue then you answer the question who do you think is more enthusiastic about seeing the film jack or ellie then please find evidence for your opinion teacher am what is evidence so this one after you answer you're going to support your opinion so that is evidence okay so now are you ready to listen? Ready to listen? yes i'm ready okay so okay, here it so is, here it is. Oh, I cannot. Oh, I cannot. Okay, so we will just read it by ourselves, Andy. So at first you will be Ellie, and I will be. I will read. I. You will be Ellie. I. I will be Ellie, and you will be Jack. So let's start. At last, I've been waiting for ages. Where have you been? What have you been doing? Uh, my boss didn't come. I'm trying to phone you since uh, 7.30. You're 25 minutes late. The film has started. Uh, my boss didn't come. I'm, uh, sorry, do you still want to see it? Yes, I do. I've been looking forward to it for weeks. It stars my favorite call actor. And I will, I've already bought the tickets. Uh, let's go inside them. Okay, but why is your hair wet? It hasn't been raining. Uh, that's wet. I'm been running for 25 minutes. Uh, and I haven't eaten. Can we see the film later? Okay, so thank you so much for reading with me, um, Andy. So now, which who do you think is more enthusiastic about seeing the film? Is it Jack or Ellie? Uh, Jack. Jack. Can you please tell me why? Uh, because uh, Jack didn't... Uh, because Jack is past the, uh, past the film. 
Ah, okay. So, Teacher A.M., can you please repeat your question? Who do you think is more enthusiastic about seeing the film? So, when we say enthusiastic, who is more excited in watching the film? Is it Jack or Ellie? Uh, it's Ellie because Ellie wants to see the... Because I didn't want to see the film. Uh, uh, Ali uh, is hurry the Jack to see the film quickly. Exactly. Yes, it is Ali because she wants to see the film even though it has already started. Okay. So thank you for your answer here, Andy. Do you have any question about this dialogue? No, I didn't have. Okay, so now we will be, uh, we will have a review about present perfect continuous. Okay, so in here there are three forms of present continuous. The first one is positive, the second one is negative, and the third one is interrogative. So here, example, they have been learning English for two years. For the negative one, for the negative sentence, they have not been learning English for two years. And for the interrogative one, it asks question. That's why it's called interrogative. Have they been learning English for two years? Okay, and it usually ha it always have a question marks. So now, why do we use present perfect continuous? Continuous. So we use it to express long actions that started in the past and continue up until now. So there's example in here, Andy. Can you please read? I've been... Uh, I've been, uh, I've been living uh, in a uh, great... Read for almost four years. Okay, thank you for reading that one. Can you please repeat? I relent. I relent. Okay, and we also use a uh, present perfect continuous to express recent actions that have clear evidence or results now. So just like this one, her eyes are red because she's been crying all evening. So, what is the result of the action now? This is her eyes are red. Okay. So, now, lastly, we use it because it, we, it is typically used for shorter or more temporary situations. So, when we say temporary, Andy, that means it could be changed or it can change in the future. So it is only short, temporary. Example, have they been learning English this week? So in that um, interrogative sentence, maybe next week they will stop learning English, only this week. That's why it's temporary situation, okay? Okay. Great, so now Andy, do you have any question about present continuous? Uh, no. Okay, so I have a question for you to check if you understand, Andy. Okay. How many usage are there for present perfect continuous? How many what? Usage. Usage. Uh, two. Okay, thank you for your answer. So there are three. What are usage teacher AM? So we have one, two, and three usages. So there are three usages of present continuous. Okay, so now Andy, um, let's take a look with task four. Please complete the rules. Okay, teacher AM, how can I complete this one? So there's one example. We form the present perfect continuous with have or has. Then, been plus ing form. How about letter B? 
Okay, we use the present perfect continuous for an action that began in the past and is still in progress. Can you please complete this one, Andy? Number three, you. You, uh, you have been working much this term. Why not? Okay, so what about number four? Uh, number four. We often use for, uh, um, this one. Uh, we often use for or. Has. Okay, has to say how long the action has been in progress. So this is since. What about number five? How long have they been living in France? They are living in France for 10 years. Okay, so let me let me see. They have been living in Paris for 10 years. Paris. Very good. Okay, so now because Paris is in France, Paris, France. Okay, so okay. now number two, it is for an action that has recently been in progress and which explains the current situation. Okay, I'm hot because Oh, hello. Yes, Andy. What about the last number? I'm hot because. Because I. Mm. I have been running. Okay, I have been running. Very good. So for this one, Andy, you got one, two, three. I'll consider that one, four, and five. So wow, five out of seven. Okay, so do you have any question, Andy? No. Okay, so I'll give you a tip for present continuous usually we use has has been or have been okay okay so now has for singular which is only one have been is for plural which means many so for this one andy how many examples of this tense are there in the dialogue so we have one, I've been waiting for ages. Okay, can you please count, Andy? How many present tense, I present continuous are there? Uh, one, two, three, four. Four. Okay, so there are four. Let's see. One, two, Three, four, five, six. So there are six. So we have first, I have been waiting for ages. What have you been doing? I've been trying to phone you. I've been looking forward. It hasn't been. And I've been running. Okay. So now, Andy, you got four out of six in here okay so let's take a look with task five so here please write questions about ellie and jack from task three and use the present perfect continuous for example take a look at number one so i'll give this one as an example how long ellie wait so i will make a question 
using the present perfect continuous. So this one, how long has Ellie been waiting? Okay, what about number two? Number two. Mm. How long Lack tried to phone Ellie? Uh, does Jack try to? How long? Say that again, please. Oh, uh, how long does? Uh, no, how long uh, does yes, Jack, uh, Jack been try to phone Ellie? Okay, so let's see. How long has Jack been trying to phone Ellie? So for uh, present perfect continuous, Andy, we just use has been or have been. We use has been because it's only one Ellie. So we also use has been because there's only one jock. Okay, so what about number three? How long Ellie look forward to the field? So what would be the question? Uh. <clears throat> How long Ali look forward to get? Uh, How long? Uh, why? Why the? Number three. Yeah, yeah, number three. How long does? I don't know. Has has Ali tried to look forward to the film? Okay, how long has Ellie been looking forward to the film? Okay, so no try for number three. So here, Andy, you don't need to add words. Okay, all you need to do is just place has been or have been. Okay, so no other words, only has been or have been. What about number four? Why Ellie look forward to the film? Why I look forward to the film? Why, uh, why does LA try, uh, been to look forward to the film? Why does Ali been look forward to the film? Okay, so I will give you a tip for number four. The, you, I, the the word does can be removed, so no need to add does. Okay, let me see. This one, why has Ellie been looking forward to the film? So we use has instead of does, Andy. So when you say why does has Ellie, so then it is redundant. Okay, or repetitive. repetitive. So what about number five? How long Jack run? How long does Jack run? Okay, how long? So uh, how long does Jack to run? How long does Jack run? Okay, so no need to use does. Only use has or have has been or have been. Oh, how long? Uh, has has Jack? uh been to run okay very good how long has jack been running okay what about number six why jack run has 
have, has, have, or have been. Uh, Hello, Andy. Hello, Andy. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm here. Ah, yes, oh. yes, yes. Okay, so what is your answer in number six? Why has Jack been to run? Why has Jack been to run? So why has Jack been running? So no need to add two. So for this one, I'll consider number five and six. So you got three out of seven in here andy okay so for this one for this activity do you have any question andy no okay so this is my observation andy so for uh in using present perfect continuous all we need to do is to use has been for singular or have been have like h a v e have been for plural okay so don't be confused so let's take a look with the next one so in task six andy please read um an example of the present perfect simple for a completed action in so completed action so it the action is already complete so i'll give you one the film has started what else oh uh, <clears throat> oh one Okay, let me see. Oh, no, no, what? no, 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 I'm counting. Okay, sure, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, one, two, uh, three. Okay. Four, four. So there are four. There are four. Okay, so is that your final answer? Yes. Okay, so now please tell me the other two present perfect simple that the action is completed. So first, the film has started. Second, I've already bought the tickets. And what about the other two, Andy? Can you please read it? Hello, teacher. Yes, Andy. Oh, yeah, I have a bad internet in my mom's hometown. Ah, yes. Okay, so I will complete. I, I will uh, repeat again. So here it is. Can you please read the remaining two present perfect simple that you found in this slide? Uh, I count is four. Okay, so what are the other two? Can you please tell me? Uh, I, uh, I've been looking forward to it for weeks and I've been running for 25 minutes. Okay, so this one we have, I haven't eaten. So there are three only. Okay, so now in here, Andy, in task seven, Please complete the sentences using the correct form of the words inside the brackets. So please take note that you do not need you don't need to change the order of the words. So you can add up to three other words. Okay, so example in number one. I'm not sure what's happening in this film because I have only been watching it 
for a few minutes. So I did not um, rearrange only watch it because they are in order already. All I did is I just add have been and ing. Have only been watching it. Okay. How about number two, Andy? It's your turn. Uh, how long? Uh, how long? Uh, have Alex? Uh, be. Being re uh, being re a uh, member uh, of the film club. Okay, so how long has Alex been a member of the film club? Very good. How about number three? Uh. I can't. Oh, uh, I can't go to the cinema because one. Oh. That is I. Oh, I haven't been. Uh, I haven't finished my homework yet. Okay, I haven't finished my homework yet. Very good. Okay, so now what about number four? Those two girls in the front row. Um, those two girls uh, in the front now uh, have talked uh, being each other since the film started. Okay, those two girls in the front row have been talking to each other since the film started. Okay, so in here, uh, we add have been plus ing. Okay, so what about number five, Andy? My parents were where? My parents were watching a science fiction film, but they but they been turned. Uh, but being they uh, turn off of the TV now. Okay, but they have but have turned turn off, the TV, off the TV now. Okay, how about number six? How long? Uh, have they making movies in the Hollywood? Okay, so very good. How long have they been making movies in Hollywood? Wow, so I can see improvement in task seven. So you only have one mistake. So it's good. One, two, three, four, five. So you got five out of six here, Andy. So for this one, Andy, do you have any question? Uh, no. Okay, so this is... Um, that's all for today's class, Andy. Since we still have five remaining, I five minutes remaining time, so we will just have a free talk. Is that fine with you? Then tomorrow we will start with Unit Two C. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Okay. So, Andy, what are your plans for tonight after our class? Tonight, I will I will remove the. Uh, Chinese and chemistry. Say that again, please. Tonight I will review uh, Chinese and chemistry. Oh, wow. So even summer, you're still studying so hard. Okay, do you normally do that, Andy, even though even when you were in primary school? Oh, uh, sorry. Um, 
do you normally study during summer even before that you were in primary school? Uh, yes, because uh, because in the summer vacation, it is uh, it is improve myself uh, the best the time the best time to improve myself time. Wow, I love that answer. Okay, how I wish that my sisters will be like you. <laughs> yeah, because my sisters Andy, they spend their summer by being on their phone, being on social media, doing video games. Yes, and not studying because all they want to do is to rest. How I wish my sisters will have the same mentality as yours. Yeah, because you are very busy in improving yourselves. Well, that's good. Uh, yes, even uh, even I have uh, uh, because because I'm in the grade nine is very. Uh, yes, I have been. I have a lot of homework to do. Yeah, I understand that one. Yeah, actually, my sister is um, older than you for one year. Uh, she's turning grade 10 next next school year. Oh, that that's too. Oh, OK. Yeah, but you know what? Right now she's in my cousin's house playing video game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know why, but uh huh. That's OK, too. I, I, I play video game in the summer vacation, too, but uh, few. Ah, yeah, but not always. So most of your time is spent in studying during summer, right? Yes. Yes. OK, it's good, Andy. Actually, I like it because you're very studious. So um, did anyone from your family tells you to study or you just do it by yourself? Uh, my mom and my dad. Ah, yes, yes, that's why, because it is your parents' wishes too. Yeah, because in our house, Andy, my mom <laughs> or my parents will not tell my sisters to study. They will just say, uh, clean the house. <laughs> yes, <laughs> please clean the house. Okay, so today your, uh, your task is to clean your room, then you will be connected to the Wi-Fi like that yeah because um how do i say this even me andy when i was uh your age i don't use my summer time to study because i use my summer time to go to my cousin's house to play outside yeah because at uh, that time we don't have phone yet and we don't have internet yet so yeah i i it's just good to see that you are studying so hard yeah in the future i will do that to my kids too <laughs> yes because it's good because um they are using their time wisely in improving their their self um their selves yeah i'll apply that to my kids one day in the future okay so andy did you have dinner already Oh, uh, did you have dinner already? No. Oh, not yet. So what do you think is is your dinner later, Andy? Oh, uh, I will have a dinner later. OK, so who will cook your dinner, Andy? Do you cook your uh, dinner or your mom? Uh, I will uh, have dinner outside. Oh, wow. Do you eat by yourself or with your relatives and mom? Parents. With your parents. Oh, so your dad is still in your mom's hometown too? Yes, but oh. my, my dad tomorrow will go back to Beijing. Ah, yes, I understand that one, Andy. OK, so it's good uh, so that you can uh, spend time late later during dinner with your parents so yes um i'll call it a uh i'll call it i'll call it a day tonight andy so we will just end in here because it's almost time so before we formally end do you have any question uh no okay so thank you so much for joining our class tonight andy i hope you learned something something from our session tonight 
enjoy the rest of your night, enjoy your dinner with your family, and keep safe always. Goodbye, Andy. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.